welcome back to my channel, Easy Ed Tech. So I think a lot of us as teachers have questions about what Google Classroom looks like from the student's point of view. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly what it looks like from the student's point of view, what their assignments look like, what it looks like when they open them, how they return them, what it looks like when they get it back graded. But what I'm also going to do is I'm going to take just the screencast portion of this video no introduction, this part with me in it you're not going to see, and no ads, and I'm going to take just that screencast and I'm going to make it an unlisted video on my channel, and I'll put the link in the description box below this video, so that if you want to share this with your students, then you can have that as a tool to share with students on a little tour of Google Classroom so they know exactly what to do and how to use it. So I really hope that you find this helpful. Go ahead and check it out here. And if you find it useful, like I said, share it with your students. If you do find it helpful, please take a moment, like the video, subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate your support. Thanks so much. Let's get started. Hey everyone. So let's navigate to Google Classroom. You can either get there by finding it in the waffle or you can type in classroom.google.com. I recommend that you bookmark it by pressing this little star. And now it's in my bookmark so I can find it later. And if I press show bookmarks bar, now I can see it. And whenever I am in Google Chrome, I can just press that tab and it'll go straight to my classroom. If you're opening classroom on an iPad, you should open it in Google Chrome. So download Chrome for your iPad, and then you're gonna click the three little dots at the top right corner and scroll down until you see request desktop site. Then you're gonna have all the same features that you would on a computer. If you're doing this on a phone, it's a lot harder, but download the app and all the apps for all the Google Suite products, which means Google Docs, Google Slides, and Google Forms, as well as Google Classroom. And you'll have a little more functionality in those apps than you would on the web browser. So you may have a lot of classes or you just may have one. That depends on how your teacher or teachers have set this up. But I'm gonna take you on a little tour of Google Classroom. So first of all, we've got the settings over here. And if we go to settings, this is where you can turn on or off your email notifications. So if you have a lot of different classrooms, you may be getting a lot of emails. So you can choose which emails you wanna receive and which you don't. So if you choose to turn off invitations, then you've really gotta make sure that you're checking your email to get those invitations. Or if you're gonna turn off due date reminders for your work, then you really need to be on top of when your work is due. So be mindful of which emails you turn on and off. Let's go back to our classes. So before I enter the classroom, I just wanna show you a couple of other things on the screen. One is, this is where you can join a class. So if your teacher sent you a join code, this is where you would put that in. Your teacher may have also invited you by emailing you a link. If that's the case, just go to your email and follow the link to join the classroom. We've also got a couple of other features here. There's the calendar, which shows me exactly what assignments I have due this week, and I can even scroll on to next week to see what's due then. And I've also got my to-do list, which is gonna show me all my assignments. What do I need to do this week? And so there's where I can see the assignments that I need to do. So the to-do list is very helpful. Now, let's go ahead and enter the classroom. So I'm gonna go into the classroom that I'm gonna go ahead and do my work for. So here in this classroom, this is the stream, 
and this is where announcements go. So your teacher will have announcements here. Some teachers have notifications for classwork assignments come up in the stream, and some turn that off so that the only announcements are in the stream. So that depends upon your specific teacher. So here we can see our upcoming assignments and what's due tomorrow. I'm going to go to classwork because this is the tab where I'm going to be able to see all my assignments. So this is a very important place. Whenever I come to classroom, I want to quickly check announcements and then go to classwork. So I can see that my teacher has assigned some things. So here it's organized by this week's work and past due. Each classroom is going to be organized differently. The topics may be different. It may be work for the week of September 1st, or it may be Unit 1, or it may be ELA as one topic and math as another. Your, every teacher organizes it a little differently, but you'll see the topics and the work. So these first two things here that are gray are materials. That means that's something my teacher has shared with me that they just want me to read or watch. So I open this and I go here and I can see these class expectations that my teacher would like me to review. But this is not an assignment. I don't need to turn anything in. It's just material. And the same with this video. This is a video that my teacher would like me to watch. So I can go ahead and watch that video, but there's nothing for me to turn in. This green with the little clipboard icon is an assignment. So here I click on this assignment and I can click down here on view assignment and it shows me my teacher's instructions in complete sentences, explain the mistake you found in the code and how you fixed it. And my name is here at the front of the, of the Google Doc. That means this is a copy for me to edit. It's my own copy the teacher has sent me. So I'm gonna go ahead and complete this assignment. Okay, I followed my teacher's instructions and I answered the question in at least three complete sentences. So now, notice there's a little turn in button on the top right. So in Google Docs, I can just turn that in. And it, tells, it asks me here, do you want to turn this in or are you not quite ready yet? I want to go ahead and turn it in. So now, I cannot go back and edit that doc. I've turned it into my teacher, so just like turning in a worksheet, I can't go back and make any changes unless I click on submit. I could click on submit, make a change, and resubmit it to my teacher. But just be careful because if it's past the due date and you resubmit it late, it'll still be marked as late, even if you had already submitted it on time. I can also leave a private comment for my teacher right here if I have something to tell her, him or her about the assignment. So this is how you turn in an assignment in Google Docs. And if you're not sure if you turned it in or not, you can see right here it says turned in, and here it says unsubmit. That means it's been submitted. So let's close these out and go on to our next assignment. So that was a Google Docs assignment. Let's look at what happens in Google Slides. So again, I'm going to view the assignment. And here, again, my teacher has made a copy for me to edit. I'm going to change this a little bit. I want it to be a little bigger because it'll be easier for me to see. So I'm just going to zoom to 100%. And now I'm going to go ahead and fill in the worksheet. If I somehow accidentally erased that box where my teacher wanted me to type and now I can't type in it, it's an easy fix. All I have to do is go to the edit menu on top and click undo. And now it's back. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this worksheet. Okay, so I've finished this worksheet and I'm ready to turn it in, but notice there's no turn in button in slides like there is in Google Docs. So I have to take an extra step and I need to go back to my classroom assignment, 
So it's always a good idea to keep that tab open. Notice when I opened the slides, it's still there. I never closed it. So I, it's good to leave that open because now I can go and press turn in. And so now it's submitted to my teacher for grading. Again, I can add a private comment here to my teacher, or if I have a comment for the whole class, I can leave that there. Let's go back to our assignments and see what's next. Now also notice as I completed these assignments, they turn gray. That means these are done and submitted. I don't need to do them anymore. And the green ones are what I have left. So let's go check out this assignment. So this is a Google form and I can either access it on the previous screen or I can just click it right here. And then I just fill in the response. Okay, so we can see here that I have submitted my response and the assignment has been marked as done. So when I go back here, if I refresh my screen, it's already been submitted. You can go here and press view score to see your score and any feedback from your teacher. Sometimes if it's automatically graded, the score will be available right away. If it's something your teacher needs to review, the score won't be available until your teacher has a chance to read and mark your answers. And you can also open the assignment again right here, or if you have the tab open, you just do it right here. So those are the different types of assignments that a teacher will assign to you in Google Classroom. There's also one more. See this little question mark icon? This is a question that they're asking you. So let's go ahead and view question. So sometimes this question will be a um, like a check-in and sometimes it'll be more of an assessment question like a quiz or a check for understanding. So let's go ahead. Now notice down here, this is a class comment. That's not where I'm going to type in my answer. I'm going to type in my answer right over here. And I'm going to turn that in. You Now this one, you cannot edit after you turn in. So once it's done, it's done. I'm going to press turn in. And there's my answer. So, and again, private comments and class comments. So that's really it for Google Classroom. That's how you do your work and check out your assignments. I'm going to go back to the classwork page. Here's a link for Google Calendar with all your assignments in it, a link to the class drive folder in case your teacher puts anything there. And here you can view your work. So these assignments have all been turned in. And once your teacher grades them, you'll be able to view them here. Okay, so now my teacher has marked all my work. So I'm gonna refresh this screen. You can see that I've got some feedback here. My teacher left me a comment, great job. And on this one, good job, please see the slides for more feedback. So I should open these slides and take a look. And my teacher left me a comment. I made a mistake on this one, and she left me a comment to let me know. So that's really all you need to know to get started in Google Classroom. How to check your assignments, complete them, turn them in, and check your grades. I hope you found this helpful. Have a great year.